is Ford losing the EV battle. Ford was relatively late to the EV game compared to competitors like Tesla, and has had a slow start in developing EV technology and building a strong market presence. Now they're struggling and planning to move out from EV to hybrids. For many of you, Ford has been a trusted brand for years, known for its reliability and quality. It's no surprise that when they ventured into the electric vehicle market, many of you had jumped at the chance to support them. However, since Ford began focusing heavily on EVs, the company seemed to have faced a rough patch. It's clear that this shift hasn't been as smooth as anticipated, with noticeable impacts on their overall performance. Despite the loyalty and trust that once defined Ford, their journey into the EV space has brought unexpected challenges that are hard to ignore. Ford Motor Company has just shaken up its electric vehicle strategy, and it's all about adapting to a shift in market. The automaker recently announced it will put the brakes on its plans for an all-electric three-row SUV and push back the release of its full-size electric truck. Why the change of direction? Ford is shifting gears to focus on affordability as the EV market gets more crowded. Despite a growing interest in electric vehicles, sales aren't accelerating as quickly as many in the industry hoped. Consumers are still grappling with concerns like high prices and range anxiety, the worry that an EV might run out of power with no charging stations in sight. These fears are keeping some potential buyers on the sidelines. In response, Ford is shifting its approach. The company is delaying its upcoming electric launches and zeroing in on making their vehicles more affordable and capable of long drives. To support this shift, Ford is slashing its annual capital spending on EVs from 40% to 30%. It's a strategic move aimed at addressing the very issue holding back potential EV buyers, cost and range. So while Ford might be hitting pause on some of its ambitious electric projects, it's doubling down on the essentials, making electric cars that not only fit into consumers' budgets, but also reassure them about their range. It's a smart play in a rapidly evolving market, and it might just be what's needed to drive the next wave of EV adoption. In May, Ford CEO Jim Farley made a bold statement about hybrid vehicles, suggesting they're not a stepping stone towards full electric vehicles, but will play a central role in the auto market's future. The vision is coming to life with Ford's latest announcement, the introduction of a hybrid version of their next generation F-Series Super Duty pickup trucks. Ford's F-Series Super Duty pickup trucks have long been a standout success for the automaker, and now they're getting an electrifying upgrade. Jim Farley, a clear advocate for hybrid technology, emphasizes how Ford is positioning itself as a leader in the space. As the global leader in pickup trucks, we're committed to future-proofing this essential part of our lineup, he said. The plan? Offering hybrid, electric, and other electrified options across the entire range, ensuring customers have the flexibility to choose the right propulsion system for their needs. The addition of hybrid technology to the F-Series Super Duty lineup is a significant move. It reflects Ford's broader strategy to cater to our diverse range of customer preferences and requirements. Whether for work or personal use, these trucks will now offer more choices than ever before, all while continuing to deliver the performance and durability Ford is known for. By integrating hybrid options into such a crucial part of their portfolio, Ford is not just adapting to industry trends, but actively shaping the future of automotive technology. Farley's statement underscores a commitment to innovation and customer satisfaction, promising that Ford will continue to lead with smart, forward-thinking solutions. Ford is setting its sights on making electric vehicles more affordable, and it's clear they're drawing lessons from their Chinese competitors. Those rivals have excelled at keeping prices down by mastering vertical integration and cost-effective engineering. To match these moves, Ford is developing a new, low-cost platform that's set to debut with a mid-size electric pickup in 2027. So you must be wondering as to what are Ford's plans for the future. In a strategic move, Ford has also postponed the launch of its highly anticipated full-size electric truck, known as Project T3. Initially slated for an earlier release, this game-changing vehicle will now hit the roads in the second half of 2027. The delay isn't a setback, but rather a strategic move to take full advantage of advancements in battery technology and other innovations that promise to make the T3 more affordable and efficient. Before both the T3 and the new pickup make their debut, Ford will first roll out an electric commercial van, which is expected to start production in 2026 at their Ohio plant. This van is part of Ford's broader strategy to enter the EV market with a range of vehicles designed to meet different needs and price points. Ford is making some strategic moves. They're planning to shift a portion of Mustang Mach-E battery production from Poland to Michigan starting next year. This shift is all about qualifying for those IRA benefits and staying competitive in the fast-evolving EV market. Moreover, 
Ford's Blue Oval Battery Park in Michigan is set to begin manufacturing EV batteries by 2026. This facility will play a crucial role in Ford's strategy, especially since it will also benefit from the IRA incentives. The company is not slowing down. Batteries for the F-150 Lightning and the all-electric commercial van are slated to begin production next year. Jim Farley, Ford CEO, summed it up perfectly. An affordable electric vehicle starts with an affordable battery. If you are not competitive on battery cost, you are not competitive. Essentially, Ford understands that to remain a leader in the EV sector, it needs to keep battery costs in check while leveraging every available incentive to stay ahead in the game. Ford is shaking up its approach to electric vehicles in a big way. By 2024, about half of all Ford dealerships in the US will stop offering electric cars. This shift will come with a significant bonus for these dealers. They won't be on the hook for future costs related to EV equipment or training, which could be a substantial relief for many. Despite this move, Ford assures that nearly 90% of Americans will still be within 20 miles of a Ford EV dealership. This seems to be a staggering balance to keep the convenience factor high while reshaping their dealership network. The relationship between Ford and its dealers has seen some turbulence recently. For example, while dealers were required to invest at least $500,000 in EV equipment and training, only about 65% had signed up for the Model E program by the end of 2022. Currently, around 1,550 dealers are still in the Model E program, making up about 50% of all Ford dealerships nationwide. Ford is clear about the stakes here. Dealerships that opt out of withdrawing from the Model E program won't be recognized as Model E certified. This designation isn't just a badge of honor. It means they won't have the specialized tools or expertise needed for EV maintenance. Interestingly, Ford doesn't seem too worried about these changes. They're moving forward with their plans and focusing on how to best support the remaining dealerships that are on board with their EV vision. Ford is facing a significant financial challenge with its electric vehicle division, according to a recent report. The company has disclosed a hefty $1.3 billion loss in earnings before interest and taxes for its EV sector alone, bringing its nine-month EBIT deficit to a staggering $3.1 billion. For the Ford Model E unit, the company had initially projected a pre-tax loss of $4.5 billion for the entire year, and it looks like they might not hit that mark positively. The financial strain is felt by the fact that Ford's EV pricing and profitability are being sharply compressed, making it even harder for the company to navigate these turbulent waters. On top of these financial hurdles, Ford is already grappling with a growing controversy as mentioned earlier. Dealers have chosen to boycott the company. This boycott is not just a minor inconvenience, it's significantly affecting Ford's reputation in the market. Hopefully Ford will recover from these difficulties in EV and rise to the occasion. Do you think the future of Ford will be back to EVs? If you have any thoughts on this, then do share your comments here below. For more such interesting stories and updates, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Goodbye for now and I'll see you next time.